We are here with the Week 11 Power Rankings, and I have already recorded this video. My initial reaction has been spoiled because I forgot to unmute my microphone, which there's a system in place. Every time I record a video, I glance over to make sure I see audio levels, and I did not do that this time, so I, have, I know what the top five and top ten are going to be. So without further ado, man, the Detroit Lions still remain in number one as they should. Last week, it was the Detroit Lions. The Kansas City Chiefs, number two. The Buffalo Bills, number three. The Baltimore Ravens, number four. Number five was the Washington Commanders. Now there has been one change. The top four teams are still the same in the same order. The only difference now is the Philadelphia Eagles are five as opposed to what they were last week. So the top ten, we won't even care about that. You know what? We got we to keep tradition alive. I'm so mad. I am so mad, man, because I was... Mm, Number six is the Minnesota Vikings. No change there. Number seven is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers, a team that just wins. They just, they don't make any noise. The loudest person on their team is George Pickens. They just win games. They've done it, Mike Tomlin's entire, I mean, for the past like 75 years, man. They just win games. No flashiness about them. They just win games. Number Eight, three spots down, the Washington Commanders, who the Detroit Lions, we need a win from them Thursday night over the Philadelphia Eagles to help take some pressure off of Detroit for that number one seed. Number nine is the Green Bay Packers, down one spot. Very rare that you lose a spot and you don't even play. So they were off this week, but they lost the spot going down from eight to nine. And number 10 is the go Chargers go. <laughs> Shout out. If you get the reference, you get the reference, man. Uh, number 10, man, that is crazy. I personally think the Chargers are about to lose four in a row. That's just what I think. And then we'll be talking about the six and seven Chargers heading into uh, pretty much the month of December. But let me scroll back up real quick. And let me go back to number one, your Detroit Lions. Thank you guys for watching the video as well. Uh, these videos don't do too great, but I love making them. It says, the Lions' seven straight victory was unlike any they had in some time. With Jared Goff succumbing to early pressures en route to, five, to a five INT performance in Houston. But if Detroit has shown us anything over the past two years or so, is that the team will figure out a path to victory more often often than not, even if it's not the one the Lions came into the game embracing. I thought Dan Campbell said it best, as he often does. When it's not your day and you can still win, that's a good sign. That's a sign of a good team. The Lions defense got the comeback started in the second half with two key turnovers and really was the reason they even had a chance to win it. With Jake Bates, two monster kicks, adding the uh, the fairy tale sparkle to the story and bringing the game full circle. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think Detroit might lose both coordinators next offseason to head coaching jobs. OC Ben Johnson and DC Aaron Glenn each deserve a shot at the big chair. But first, there's a Super Bowl to try and win. Victories such as Sunday nights show the Lions are eminently capable, and that is 100% facts. Now, I'll have a video about the coordinators later today. Because I have some thoughts on that. They're, both of their names have been flying around. We, ben Johnson has been a guy that we've been talking about every, every single season. It seems like there's a Ben Johnson, a Ben Johnson, you know, head coaching situation. But I got my thoughts. I won't spoil them here. So I'll make a video about that later today. But as far as what this guy said, uh, yes, the Detroit Lions deserve the number one spot. And we've got a Super Bowl that we're trying to win. I don't trying to win. I don't know if you've caught the 97 one the ticket on Tuesday. Dan Campbell is there, and he said that the Lions had 11 games left. So the the host got a little chuckle out of that. And so we have eight regular season games. If we don't get a bye week, we have the wild card, the division, the NFC title game, and the Super Bowl. So. Matter of fact, he actually spoke. He said, we got eight more games. We're already the number one seed. So he is assuming or already planning that we're going to have the number one seed. Eight regular season, including if we have the number one seed, we get a bye week. Then we, we don't play until the divisional round, which will be at Ford Field. We don't, then we host the NFC title game. Then we go off to the Super Bowl. So 11 games equals a Detroit Lions Super Bowl. We got eight that we're going to play during the season, and then assuming we get the first seed, it's going to be uh, three more. So 
Can't really disagree with anything. Jared Goff overcame a bad game. And if you guys are continually criticizing Jared Goff and all that other stuff, which is fine, you can do that. But Dan Campbell has not lost any faith. Again, you can reference the 97 one take an interview. Has not, has not lost faith at all in Jared Goff. 100% believes him. Only really kind of might give him probably one interception. Maybe he said, quote, that Jared Goff was putting the ball where it needs to be. That is our head coach making those those uh, statements. So, you know, if if you if you it's funny, man, it is. We just cannot wait to turn on Jared Goff. I might make a video somewhere down the line. I don't really care. He's not going anywhere. You guys aren't going to change. It doesn't matter. Right. So anyway, see the shirt that I'm rocking, man. Shout out to Green Grit Iron. I've been meaning to wear this for a little while. The shirt sent me a shirt as an affiliate partner. Uh, the entire syndicate is a uh, affiliate of Green Grit Iron as well. Want to make sure I remind you guys about the helmets right now. Still waiting on those mini helmets to come in, but you can use promo code D nope is yeah D E T S Y N for we changed our promo code for an extra percent off of your green grid iron order. So get them while they can. According to my affiliate representative, he said that the Detroit Lions uh, collectibles are probably I don't want to put words in his mouth, but they're super hot selling that kind of. I think maybe some manufacturers might have underestimated the power of the fan base and the fact that these things are going to be flying off the shelf. So um, trying to make sure they they stock for those things, right? So hopefully they'll come in and, and they'll have uh, enough that we can be able to get everyone one. And as you guys know, I am a affiliate partner with Ridge Wallet as well. I've been getting a lot of kickback in the, or feedback in the comment section about Ridge Wallets, how some people love them, some people hate them. I am going to try. 45 this year, just turned 45, kind of old school, but I'm going to try some new schoolness, some minimalist, uh, if you will, with the Ridge Wallet and get one. I don't really carry cash anymore, but I know they have the cash clip. Um, and I just, I, I really, really want it because the Lions are on there. Right. So I probably I've been recommended to get the carbon carbon fiber one. I, I like the blue. I'm, I don't know, man. I might get both. I might get both, man. I love the Honolulu blue. We'll see. But you'll start to see shop stuff again. It, it doesn't really interrupt the video. You can uh, I'm trying to get it where the thing pops up and you can see it there and then you can click down. I don't know if it's actually working. So anyway, give me your thoughts on the power rankings. Number one, I think this is the third week in a row that we're number one. And to be honest with you, I see the Detroit Lions winning the entire month of November, which, by the way, have we done? When was the last time we've done that? We've won the entire month of November. You know, it's a stat for everything in the NFL. And I, I see us winning, winning, the, uh, winning the entire month of November. Like, we're, we're just that good. There's no doubt about it. We're just that good. And the teams that we play are just that bad. They really are, man. The Lions have a real opportunity to be 14-3, and three, and that is a guaranteed first seed. That's one of the – I said that was our uh, way too early season prediction was 14-3. and three. So give me your thoughts down in the comments below. This channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but uh, it doesn't seem like you are, but you choose to rock with me. Thank you to Green Gridiron for the affiliate partnership and the shirt as well. Take care of yourself and each other. Make smart decisions, and as always, go Lions. And remember to unmute your microphone.